the Karnataka cabinet has cleared the anti-conversion bill. In fact, it's been cleared by the Karnataka cabinet as an ordinance. The anti-conversion bill was passed on the 23rd of December 2021. In the Karnataka Vidhan Sabha session at Belagavi, the BJP was running short of numbers in the Vidhan Parishad. Now the dynamics have changed. They say they can get it passed with a simple majority. But the BJP government still preferred the ordinance route. Nihal, reporting on the story, joins us with the very latest information. Uh, Nihal, uh, you know, one of course is the manner in which this controversial anti-conversion bill has been passed to the ordinance route. Uh, but second, also explain and break down for our viewers, why is it controversial? What does it entail? This, this is the question that uh, I asked the Karnataka law minister that why did you take this route because it was passed almost five and a half months back in the assembly and that time they were running short of uh, the majority in uh, the council but this time the, now the dynamics have changed and they can easily get the simple major, majority and this bill can be passed. What the Karnataka law minister J.C. Madhuswamy told me that for the next two to three months, there is no Vidhan Sabha session, there is no assembly session, and that is why they don't want to delay it, and this is need of the hour. That is why they have preferred uh, to pass it as an ordinance. It was brought to the uh, uh, to the cabinet meeting today, and from there it was uh, the cabinet passed this. Now it has become an ordinance. Now it will be sent to the governor. I asked him that whether some provisions have been changed, is there any amendment? Because normally this is what it happens. But he specifically said that no, there is no amendment at all. So the bill that was passed almost five and a half months back in the assembly, the same bill has now become the ordinance uh, after the approval of the cabinet. As far as the controversial part is concerned, it is now, it will be mandatory for the person who is to be converted hmm. and for the priest who is going to convert the person. Both the information about both the persons have to be given uh, almost a month in advance to the jurisdictional deputy commissioner office. And right. only after NOC, uh, those persons can be uh, converted to, the, to a particular religion. All right, Nihal, thanks very much for joining us with all the very latest. Uh, we have uh, Congress and a BJP spokesperson for a quick reaction to this. But I want to just first break down for our viewers, uh, you know, what this anti-conversion law essentially means. It is, uh, uh, you know, a sweeping definition essentially of illegal conversion by force, by employment, allurement or even marriage. And the burden of proof, interestingly, that conversion is not illegal lays solely on the person who's actually doing the conversion. The person who's carrying out uh, the conversion therefore needs to declare 30 days in advance to the district magistrate that this conversion is being carried out. Those who are being converted will lose reservation status and there will be penalties ranging from jail terms of 3 to 10 years for those who are found not in compliance. Lavanya Balal, spokesperson of the Congress Party and Madhusudana uh, Gopala Krishnachar, BJP leader from Karnataka and former MLC, both joining us uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Lavanya Balal, your first reaction to this anti-conversion bill, a controversial bill that's now been passed by the ordinance route. Good evening. Uh, my question would be, has the government done a research uh, on who are these people who are converting? Because basically it is usually uh, the oppressed community, the SEST community, the backward communities who convert. Has the government looked into the reasons why they convert and have they come to a conclusion how these laws will benefit the Dalits who possibly might convert to other religion? Why is it that people are converting is the one big question that we all have. Maybe because it is the treatment of them like subhumans or maybe lack of humanity in treating the Dalits is what is enticing them to convert. Maybe, maybe mm. that could be one of the reasons, right? So have we looked into upliftment of the Dalits? before thinking of the punishment. Thank you. All right. Uh, Lavanya Balal, do stay on with us because I'm going to get uh, the BJP representative to respond to your question and I also want to discuss the manner in which this was passed. Uh, uh, Mr. Gopala Krishnachar, do you want to just respond to Lavanya Balal's question first? Madam, this has been a question of changing the demography of a country. 
that has been the reason why everywhere in the world the conversion has been opposed we have seen all african countries we have seen all backward countries all third world countries we have seen all the tribal nature tribal character is totally wiped off all the tribal culture which has been age old thousands of years culture it has been simply devastated and particularly in our country they are targeting the illiterates the backward and particularly the scs and sts this is going to shift the democracy and it will benefit certain political parties who are supporting this conversion and also certain missionary activities for this funds have been allotted from uh, different uh, foreign countries what's and the uh, point you're trying so many, to make sir uh, so there are so, there are so many voluntary organizations what is the point that you're trying to make sir and this is this has become the business what is the point that it you're trying to make the business what is the point Pardon that you're madam? trying to make what is the point that you're trying to make madam we 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 want we want all the people in this country of course our country we are proud to say that we have we have, we have got different cultures and different uh, customs different uh, castes different creeds different beliefs in different parts of our country don't you think Now, that this ordinance passed we don't you think mr gopala krishna chart this ordinance passed is problematic for more like reasons than one christianity no please answer my question don't you think this ordinance passed is problematic for more reasons than one this firstly the burden of proof madam. one it second let me so let me at least ask you my question i am saying yeah, that yeah. the burden of proof in order to prove that a conversion is not illegal firstly you are going with the assumption that any conversion that is being done is illegal and therefore the burden of proof that it's not illegal needs to be done uh, or rather rest with the person who's carrying out the conversion there has to be a 30 day yes, notice correct. that has to be given to the district magistrate yes correct you want to convert a person you inform the district manager district magistrate and uh, you allow some time maybe a uh, uh, considerable time of 30 days or 40 days 45 days 60 days you allow some time and uh, and afterwards you uh, still uh, still you want to convert him or still that man uh, wants to get converted okay fine you are at liberty lavanya balal you, you want to respond to that any any uh, any, uh, any provisions yeah. Yeah. any provisions uh, that you have when, problems uh, with yeah when a bjp mla uh, alleged mass forced conversions in hosadurga the tahsildar of that place had conducted a survey of the people who had converted to christianity and the people who converted to christianity said they converted willingly and they converted for the peace of their mind and they converted for better living conditions now the question once again comes back to yes we we have caste issues that does not exist across the globe and there is caste atrocity there is caste oppression what is bjp government's plan to eradicate caste oppression and atrocity and to uplift these people that would be the first order of the uh, things that to, need to be done and later mm. maybe look at punishing people okay Want me to basically BJP yes. is madam sorry uh, you know kenya the south african country so why we why are we talk so about other countries kenya, i'm, I'm madam, sorry but i think the socio political landscape madam, of kenya reason. can't be compared to karnataka no, no, can no, no, it no, this is not question answer i mean you you will only answer question and uh, you are now you will not allow me to speak i am asking you a question sir can the socio political landscape of kenya be compared to that of karnataka that's my question no, no, just listen just listen you do not want to listen to me also so it's my job to ask you a question so, so i'm sorry if that offends you kenyata was the president of kenya do you know what he said about evangelism when missionaries came to our country we had land in our hand and they had bible in their hands and we were asked to meditate when we opened our eyes 
all the lands were in the hands of missionary my last question to you mr gopal krishnacharya out of time is that has this been rushed no, no, this into an happening. ordinance this, madam, has this, this been rushed into an ordinance with an eye on the election madam please listen madam please listen you must know the richest land holding in this whole of this country is christian missionaries number 1 And How is that related to the, this conversion ordinance? I fail to understand. I am asking well, you a very simple question. Money, Have you chosen the ordinance money. route? Have you chosen the ordinance route with an eye on the election? No, ma'am. This has got to. This has got nothing to do with the election. Nothing to do with the election. Lavanya Balal, you agree this has nothing to do with the election? We want to retain the democracy Absolutely of the country. Absolutely not. We do not, not want missionaries uh, to fool our people. Aren't missionaries your people, sir? Our people should not get fooled. <laughs> Our people should not be persecuted right. in the name of response. religion. Yes, Lavanya Balal, very quickly, ten seconds. People converting are also our people. People who may be uh, helping others convert are also our people. I think law should be very uh, inclusive of everybody, and this is done with an eye at elections that is coming up in Karnataka. Thank you. Well, thank you both very much for joining us.